this is part one if to what if Deku had Ichigo's power sad route the reason I'm saying sad route is because there are two different ways I see this going and I want to do both of them and I'm doing the sad route first in this uh, what he has is not a quirk it's actually the powers and I'm sorry if you can hear my voice that well it is late at night like 10 in the morning going close to midnight so uh, my family's asleep so I'm not trying to be that loud so in this this is the sad route Deku when he's born is already showing what they think is a quirk and they consider it and they consider it a villain quirk because his eyes like in the picture in here are black with like a yellow uh I forget what it's called like where the white is supposed to be or the color you have a black yellow and i think that's red and black i can't tell basically it's that and they think it's a quirk which they think is a villain quirk which this causes them to tell Inka that he may he already is showing a quirk and it's a villain quirk so Deku, Deku's abandoned at a young age well not abandoned he's put into a homeless shelter or like an orphanage and he's taken care of but he's treated he's treated horribly by the people there not really by the adults the adults don't really care that he has what type of quirk he has it's mostly by the other kids <clears throat> the other kids see Deku's quirk and they start uh, bullying him beating him up all that and the adults tell him to stop doing that but they don't stop it eventually let's say it's about when Deku's probably say Deku's probably about seven in this at this time so they never really named his quirk at this point Deku has come to hate his quirk but he knows how to use it I'm just gonna keep calling it a quirk even though it's not he eventually, he eventually learned how to use it to defend himself uh, if he was ever in a life-threatening situation and he said he would only use it if he was in a life threatening situation so the way he figured out is when uh, when the other kids went out to play during the day they wouldn't let Deku play with him and play with them so Deku would just sit by himself basically meditating and eventually he meditated into the mindscape of where the hollow is the hollow season the hollow still a kid like Deku but he look he looks like Deku, but he's white and all that. I guess his skin's like white. His hair is white. The only thing different is his eyes. He says it's nice to see Deku for the first time. Deku asks him, "Is he?" The Hollow says that he is Deku's inner quirk. He says he's Deku inner spirit. He is the manifestation of Deku's power because he has so much of it. Hold on. Sorry for any background noises you may hear. I have moved outside. It may be late in the night, but it is hot out here for some reason. That's what I get for living in this state. It's unpredictable. Like I was saying, the way he learned how to use his quirk, like they bonded. He's not sadistic like Ichigo's hollow side is. And in this we have Deku, who let's say trains somewhat, but not not in the physical world, but in his mental world. He may he's like in a sleeping state. And he's basically sleeping and he's in that state and he's in that world. So whenever he's sleeping, he'll just go in there and train. Although it doesn't give him any, like, physical, like, it doesn't give him any physical build-up. He just knows how to use the power. 
but it doesn't give him any actual physical strength. So, in this, Deku does have his on toe, but he hasn't used it yet, or doesn't know how to use it. He's seen his other half carrying it. It's not the big one, like Ichigo. It's a, let's say, it's a Zanpakuto that has a sheath, like a regular size Zanpakuto. It's its first form. Like the regular form before you learn its name. So we skip uh, Deku 7 at the time, and he is attacked by a bunch of the kids in the orphanage or the homeless shelter, whatever it is he's in. He's attacked by them. The reason he's attacked is because he has a villain quirk. And they don't like him. They don't like that he has a villain quirk and they don't like him in general. Now what they do is they start to try and kill Deku. They stab him. He's bleeding. They're laughing at him. And the hollow takes over. Deku starts getting up, there's some smoke coming off him, he's healing, they don't know what's going on. Then he opens his eyes, he has the hollow eyes, and just part, like a ship of the mask starts forming, sort of like in this picture, like it slowly starts forming. So next what he does is he kills them, because it's the hollow self, and technically it would be self-defense because they were trying to kill him. So, next, Deku, when he wakes up, he's healed, but he sees what's left of their bodies, because the hollow killed them. Deku starts running and running. It's been like a month now. Let's say he doesn't have to eat as much as normal people because of what he, because of his powers. Let's say he's able to absorb, like, some energy from the atmosphere to help him survive. And he's also able to use his power that he has to help him survive, but it's not much. So, he's starving to the point he's ready to dig through trash. So, he's doing that, and a per he's at a, outside of a restaurant in an alley where people can't see him. A person opens the door to jump the trash. They see Deku, he's a little kid. He starts running away, but when he, run he runs in the wrong way, leading him to a wall when the person catches... Ugh. I'm dying. Sorry. So, Deku, uh, they catch up to Deku. They notice he's a little kid. And he's digging through trash because he's homeless. His parents abandoned him. The people at the orphanage, uh, the kids attacked him. So Deku's just barely getting by, and the purse, and Deku, at this point, he's, he's exhausted, so he just passes out. Now, let's say this was at the end of the day, when they were going home, so they take Deku, they take Deku home, uh, Deku's, like, really exhausted, so when he wakes up, he can barely move, but he wakes up seeing he's in a bed, and let's say the person, I uh, just put Deku in a bed, he's in some uh, blankets, although he's covered in filth and all that. The person, let's say, estimated the size of what Deku wears, and they went to the store, bought him clothes. Let's give this person a name. Let's give this person's name John. His name is John. John owns his own restaurant, basically. And so John takes care of Deku for a couple years, and for Deku to repay him, Deku helps at the restaurant. Deku mostly just cleans dishes and helps clean up after its closing time. Deku will also help sit people at the uh, tables, take their order, John will cook it, and John will bring it out. So De Deku does most of the small things. And Deku in this, he doesn't want to use his quirk because of what happened that day. So John says, if you don't want to use your quirk, then why don't you take up some fighting classes or something like that. And Deku, he 
thinks about it. Like, he's probably at 10 about this time. So he thinks about doing fighting, like, taking fighting classes, learning to fight to defend himself. And when he starts looking this up online, because he still lives with John at this time, he eventually brings up to the point to John that he's thankful to John for taking him in, but he doesn't want to, he wants to leave the house, so just in case ever, if he loses control of his power, John won't get hurt. Because John, at this point, he doesn't, Deku didn't tell him that he killed the people, he said that he hurt people because of his power. Because he lost control of it so easily. So, John understands this. John pays Deku's bills for him. Because Deku's still young. And Deku still works at the uh, at the restaurant. And Deku, he starts working out. Going to the gym and stuff like that. Well, not going to the gym, but John would uh, go to the store. Buy weights for Deku. Basically, stuff like that. Deku would start working out. And we skip to the beginning of the anime. Deku's been doing... He doesn't go to school. But he does online school instead. Online school. And since he... When he's not working out or at work. Or training in martial arts or anything like that. He's just reading. Doing studying. And Deku never really thought of becoming a hero. Let's say at the beginning of the anime. He's just out jogging, let's say jogging for about a couple, like, for about five miles, so he's just jogging for about five miles, and he goes under the bridge, and he immediately dodges, he didn't control his body, the hollow did, because Deku was just running, he wasn't focusing, Deku asked why the hollow did that, and then he turns around and sees a sludge villain, the Sludd villain tries to uh, grab Deku again. Deku gets out of the way immediately uh, before Deku could react again. Ow. Mm. I'm outside and I'm walking around. I'm just wearing a slide right now. Uh, a stick that was on the ground just stabbed my foot. So, uh, before Deku could react, he trips... And he, what is it, and the sludge villain gets on him. Deku doesn't want the help of the hollow because of what he did that year ago, but he can't really do anything. So the hollow immediately uh, uses, just for the sake of this, just for the sake of this, I'm calling it a Getsuga Tensho. You know, the Ichigo, Ichigo's main move, giant wave of energy. So he does, he does something like that, but not... A giant wave. He just w rushes his hand down as quickly as possible to disperse of the sludge villain. It it vaporizes part of the sludge villain. And since it was the hollow doing this, it was a let's say was it black or red? Let's say it was just a black one. Instead of a white one, it was a black one. So it was a black Getsuga Tensho. Very small, came from Deku's hand. And so the villain thinks that Deku has some type of, like, beam cork. Deku doesn't. And at this point, uh, this is when All Might shows up. He sees the sludge villain is in much worse shape than what he's supposed to be. He finishes off the sludge villain. He asks what Deku's cork is. Deku says his quirk was never really given a name. Then All Might asks what can his quirk do. Deku says he doesn't really know since he never uses it. He doesn't like using it. All Might just says, then can you tell me what you know about it? Deku says that his quirk basically has a split personality. So there's him, and then there's the hollow. Or hollow... Uh, Deku or Hollow Midoriya is what he says. And basically all it is is this personality takes over when Deku can't do anything and it increases his power. Although Deku can use the power of the Hollow, the Hollow when Deku uses its power can multiply it quite a bit. 
all might see is that Deku is quite buff. He asks why is he so buff. He, well, first he asks how old is Deku. He Deku says he's I think 15 or 14. He just says like he's 15 and 14. I might ask why is he so so buff for a young age. Deku says since he doesn't like using his quirk because of an incident that happened a couple years ago, he decided to learn uh, martial arts and uh, decided to start working out so he can have more muscle to defend himself. I might ask why is Deku out here by himself? Like, let's say it's close to sunset. Deku says he was just finishing off his workout routine. With a five mile jog. So All Might asked Deku if he's planning on becoming a hero. Deku says he never thought of becoming a hero. Because all his life people kept telling him he has a villainous quirk. That he's evil. Even though he's he hasn't he's never intentionally done anything bad. So All Might says that Deku has a pretty powerful quirk. And that can, he could probably become the number one hero with it. Especially if he learns how to use it. So, in this, Deku, uh, what's it? De All my ask, uh, basically, All my just ask where Deku is. Deku, uh, no, All my ask Deku to meet him at the uh, Degaba Beach the t next day. Deku says he can't be there at that time because he has work. I might ask why does he have work uh, at such a young age. Deku says he lives alone because ever since he was a baby, he was abandoned uh, as a baby. And he had to run away from the orphanage because people kept bullying him. Some people even tried killing him once. So he just left and he was eventually taken in by someone, helped, and eventually moved out just in the fear of his quirk, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to end it off here. Bye.